This is the iPhone 15 Pro and this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max and this year the iPhone has said a lot of goodbyes. So welcome to my review of the iPhone 15 Pro. Open. Open. Now look, everyone's gonna start talking about the beautiful and stunning design of the iPhone 15 Pro, but I just wanted to start right off with my favorite feature about the iPhone 15 Pro, and that's the action button, because Apple has said goodbye to the mute switch and it's replaced it with a customizable action button. The same concept on Apple Watch Ultra has now come to the iPhone. By default, it will still be your mute switch, but you can actually customize it in order to change your focus mode, to open your camera, to turn on the flashlight, to start a voice memo, to translate a word, to open the magnifier. Now I'm going to be making a separate video concerning the action button and all the things that you can do with it, but yeah. Having shortcuts on an action button is so powerful. You can program the action button into so many different useful features. For example, you can tap and Shazam will open so it can identify a song. I often keep programming it so whenever I tap it, my smart vacuum cleaner will actually start cleaning my house. You can program it to turn on or turn off the lights. And what's cool about shortcuts is that you can program any app out there to a Siri shortcut. For example, I love a coffee tracking app so I can simply tap on the action button and I can actually log a coffee just by a tap. Most people will use the action button to turn on the flashlight or to turn on the camera and then you can actually snap a photo directly with the action button itself. I'm a little bit upset that it's not as customizable as I'd want it to. For example, if you double tapped, something could happen. All right, fine. Let's stop talking about the action button. Let's talk about the design. Hey, look, I'm like, if you broke, just say that. Ain't no need, hey. The borders of the iPhone 15 Pro are made out of titanium which is the highest strength to weight ratios of any metal. What's so shocking about holding, in this case, an iPhone 15 Pro Max is just how light it is. If you use an iPhone 14 Pro Max from last year and you compare both of them, this thing is so lightweight and it makes others feel so extremely heavy. The edges are just so well done mixed with this beautiful glass back, mixed with the beautiful titanium and mixed with the beautiful colors it comes with. It just makes it look like a really premium phone. The bezels are also thinner, making it feel like an edge to edge display mixed with the dynamic island. It makes you have a really good experience with your display. The display itself has not changed. It still remains that stunning, beautiful display, a display that shows colors so beautifully well, the colors are vibrant, the whites are bright, and the blacks are so dark. Now the iPhone is used by so many professionals as their main professional camera. I am Maria Barbena, I am a professional scuba diver, and I always bring my iPhone underwater when I'm diving because I love how I can switch lenses with ease, and then how fast I can edit and share the content on social media. Hi, we are Ana Davies and Daniel Preda, and we are photographers. We actually started taking pictures together with an iPhone, and that changed our life forever. From designing buildings to designing images instead. And now, 10 years later, we still find ourselves using the iPhone all the time, despite having access to fancy equipment. Our work is colorful, fun, and a tiny bit surreal. That's why actually some people think it's digitally created, but that is so not the case. And with the incredible cameras and the power of computational photography on the iPhone, making the camera system for the pros go to infinity and freaking beyond. We basically get seven lenses on our iPhone now. We get stunning macro photography that allows us to get really close up on an insect, on an object, on a flower, making it have some really incredible results. So we get 13 millimeters, 24 millimeters, 28 millimeters, 35 millimeters, 48 millimeters, and 120 millimeters. Yes, we now get a time five camera lens inside of our iPhone. Now I wanted to tell you a bit of my experience with these lens because as always with good lighting the results of this times five lens is outstanding. It's amazing and it's so cool to zoom up so much optically with our iPhone now. The problem with this times five lens is the same as our 0.5 ultra wide lens that hey whenever you have good lighting it's amazing but whenever it's starting to get a little bit dark just in those moments that it's just the iPhone just doesn't activate night mode yet and you're you're gonna get grainy images right in between sunset and actual night those moments the iPhone is going to have a really tough time capturing. Until night mode kicks in, which by the way has been deeply improved as well, shooting times five even at night 
is incredible. I mean, just look at this image at the beautiful cathedral here in Girona at night using the Times 5 lens. And it was also pure dark out in the street. And we're still having a very high res image with not a lot of grain. Once again, at night using a Times 5. When you're taking a photo of a person now, you'll get this little f-stop icon. That means that the iPhone is now capturing that. So when you go ahead and edit the photo, you'll now be able to see a new portrait icon. If you tap that, you'll be able to add depth to the image and you can customize it on whatever you want. The iPhone 15 Pro is also ready for the future because it's now capable of capturing your memories with spatial video, meaning 3D video to relive those memories with your Apple Vision Pro. I mean, just thinking about the fact that you can capture 3D videos and then relive those memories, like if you were right there, just thinking about the fact that someday you might take photos of your dogs or your family members that maybe one day they won't be there once you have your Apple Vision Pro. And being able to relive those memories, it, I think that's just beautiful. All right, so all this new camera stuff sounds amazing, but can you actually capture an entire commercial, an entire professional commercial shot on the iPhone? Well, I decided to give my iPhone 15 Pro to the commercial king. Meet Jonah Daniel. He makes commercials for the largest companies in the world right from home to see what he could do and the results will blow your mind. behind the scenes and all the crazy techniques that Jonah actually uses to capture his insane commercials. Well, I made a separate video about that. Links are down below in the description. And if you want to see more of Jonah's work, I highly encourage you to check him out. Links are down below in the description. The heart of the iPhone 15 Pro is the A17 Pro, which enables the next generation of mobile games right on our smartphone. Look, we're not talking Angry Birds or Fruit Ninja. We're talking Resident Evil, but not Resident Evil mobile version. We're talking full on desktop experience of Resident Evil on an iPhone. Apple has worked so hard with bringing mesh shading and hardware accelerated race tracing to the iPhone that makes it have an experience like no other. The iPhone in a standard temperature cool room holds up perfectly fine, but once you start heavy gaming on a heavy warm room, your iPhone will tend to overheat. So that's one of the things that if Apple really wants to get the gaming community, well, you know, having proper cooling on a gaming phone, I think that's pretty important. And I know the gaming community is asking for that too. We also get the second generation ultra white chip, which features a new feature that I honestly, okay. How many of you have gone out with your girlfriend or with your boyfriend out shopping and you just lose them? For example, Chenya, I'm, I'm with her and I'm just, you know, talking, hey, do you like this candle? And I just lose her. So if your friend or family member gives you access, you can actually follow them like an air tech. So for me, it's so useful to just go up to Chenya and just, hey, where's Chenya? Instead of me calling her because then she never replies, I can just, oh, there you are. Yeah, I like the dress. You should buy it. Now I'm taking a long time to talk about a feature that Apple has waited a long time to release. And that's USB-C. I can't believe I'm saying this. I really never thought I was going to say this. I always thought the iPhone was going to go portless before it came with, yes, USB-C. USB-C is now available on the iPhone. This means that not on the future, but on the present, we are getting one cable to charge my GoPro, my Sony cameras, my remotes, my iPhone, my iPad, my Mac. Thank you, Apple. This also means that you can charge your AirPods with your iPhone. This also means that you can charge your Apple Watch with your iPhone. So from the action button to titanium to USB-C, the iPhone 15 Pro makes it a very solid upgrade coming from an old iPhone. Hey, I'm happy about USB-C. I'm happy about the action button. I'm happy about titanium. I'm happy with the iPhone 15 Pro. If you want to watch my review on the standard iPhone 15, or if you want to compare the iPhone 15 versus the 15 Pro, you can tap these videos right here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.